Hey guys. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Guru. Hope you all are fine. As you all know that previously we have discussed. Field Density Test. Today we talk about. Definitions of important terms in surveying and leveling. So move towards our today's topic. Level Surface. This is a surface. Which is normal to the direction of gravity. At all points as indicated by a plumb line. The surface of a still lake. May be taken as an. Example of a level surface. As the earth is an oblique spheroid. A level surface will not be. Plain but will be a cursed one. Every point on a level surface. Is equidistant from the center. Of the earth. Level line. A line lying. Throughout on a level surface. Is a level line. This is normal to the. Plumb line at all points. Horizontal plane. A horizontal plane. Through a point. Is a plane tangential to the level surface. At the point. This is normal. To the direction of gravity. At that point. Horizontal line. Any line. Lying. Throughout in a horizontal plane. Is termed as horizontal line. Vertical plane. A vertical plane is any plane. Containing a vertical line. A vertical line at any point. Is a line normal to the. Level surface at that point. A plumb line. Is an example of a vertical line. Atom surface. This is an arbitrary surface. With reference. To which the elevations of points. Are measured. And compared. Elevation of a point. Elevation of a point. Is the vertical distance above or below the datum. This is usually called the reduced level of the point. This may be positive or negative accordingly. As the point is above or below the datum. Line of collimation. The line of collimation or the line of sight is the line joining the intersection of crosshairs to the optical center of the object glass and its continuation. Axis of telescope. The axis of a telescope is the line joining the optical center of the object glass to the center of the eyepiece. Axis of bubble tube. The axis of bubble tube, or level tube, is the line tangential to the longitudinal curve of bubble tube at its middle point. This is horizontal. When the bubble is centered, this is also called bubble line. Vertical axis. The vertical axis is the line about which the telescope can be rotated in a horizontal plane. Backsight. A backsight is the first staff reading taken after setting up the instrument in any position. This will always be a reading on the point of known elevation. Foresight. A foresight is the last staff reading taken before moving the instrument. This will always be reading on a point whose elevation is to be determined. This reading indicates the shifting of the instrument. Intermediate sight. An intermediate sight is any staff reading taken on the point of unknown elevation after the back sight and before the foresight. This is necessary when more than two staff readings are taken from the same position of the instrument. Change point. A change point indicates the shifting of the instrument. Both backside and foresight are taken on a change point. Height of the instrument. The height of instrument is the elevation of the plane of collimation when the instrument is leveled and not the height of the center of the telescope above the ground level. Station point. A station point is a point whose elevation is to be determined or a point which is to be established at a known elevation. Therefore, this is the point on which the staff is held and not the point on which the instrument is set up. Benchmark. A benchmark is a fixed point of reference of known elevation. The reduced level of the benchmark is used to determine the reduced levels of other points. These may be classified in leveling and surveying as GTS, Great Trigonometrical Survey, Benchmark, Permanent Benchmark, Arbitrary Benchmark, Temporary Benchmark, if you guys enjoyed our today's video, then like, comment and share our today's video and subscribe our channel Civil Engineering Guru and support our channel to grow more. Thank you. Bye.